Hey everyone, C. Bullock here, and today we'll be talking about the top five things I wish I had known when I started using Movavi Video Editor Plus. Number one is the ability to disable the guides when you're moving things around. So if you click these three dots down here, you can enable or disable the guides. So when I adjust something like this text here, if the guides are disabled, it won't snap to the center or the corner. I can put it exactly where I want. The guides used to drive me crazy sometimes. Um, if you want it to go like, like not, not to the center, but just, just off with the guides enabled, you can't do that. So just click these three lines here, or three dots down here, and you can disable the guides and put your text, your sticker, your overlay wherever you want it. Number two, volume points. So if I have a clip that has audio and I want to change the volume, of course you can go into clip properties and adjust the volume, or it's as simple as grabbing this line here and dragging it down or up to change the volume. I can also double click the line to add volume points where you can then drag those individual points up or down and around on the track to adjust the volume exactly how you want it. Next up, keyboard shortcuts. So of course we have control C to copy, control V to paste, and control X to cut something. But in Movavi you can also use control B to cut a clip like this. So wherever I put the playhead, it will chop it there when I press control B. Or with control E, I can make a screenshot so if I click here, it'll grab a screenshot wherever the playhead is. So you can use that for some different things. And then we also have Control T. So if I have an overlay animated, then I am able to use Control T to add additional animation points. So if I have this overlay animated, I can use Control T to add an additional animation point anywhere on the overlay. So next up, we've got linking and unlinking tracks from the main track. I used to have problems moving stuff. Like if you add music to your video, then you move this main track around or like if I cut this, the whole thing will move back and then the music will be off from where it was on the video. If you will click this link here, so it, these it kind of looks like a link on all the additional tracks and overlays and title and when you click that it will link it to your main track so you see that line right there that means that it's linked if I want something not to be linked then you just click it off and you'll notice the line goes away so for like this title here I can unlink it like this and then when I move or edit or adjust this it will not move with its main track if it is linked, then when I cut that, it will follow with the exact point it was on the on your main video. So this can really make a big difference if you use sound effects, because I would be editing and I didn't realize my sound effects weren't moving with the clip, and it caused some serious problems. Finally, this one is kind of simple, but I didn't know where the flip option was, and I didn't think about it being under filters over here. But if you go to filters and adjustments, you will find some really good basic fixes for your video. So if you need to flip your video, you can drag these filters down and it will make it flip. This works well if you have a mirrored video from your phone, um, for your phone's forward facing camera. And you can also invert things. So this works well if you have a black or white logo, you can actually drag it down to the overlay and it will invert it. These are some of the things that I didn't know how to do at first and it took me a while to figure out some of them. I hope this helps you to be more efficient with your editing in Movavi Video Editor. Make sure to subscribe for more tips like this on how to improve your video editing with Movavi Video Editor Plus. See you next time.